What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're gonna go shoot two videos, but first, it's finally acting like spring out here. But first, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and check out the merch shelf down below for your 60 Bro merch. We're gonna get started on this video and explaining what we're doing in this one and the next one I'm filming. Okay, so we have our 2015 here and it is time to start doing some turbo modifications. So the first thing, I need to get some boost and some exhaust back pressure readings on this truck. I'm gonna film that in the truck while I'm driving. And what we're looking for is peak numbers of each. We're not gonna go try to see how high we get. We're gonna get a, do a few, uh, a few pulls on it and call it a day. And we're gonna talk, so we have a modification to the factory unit that's coming, that's in the truck now. And then we're gonna have a whole different turbo. And while at some point we will review Turbo Time USA, our sponsor, shout out to them, 6O Bros, for a 5% off their performance chargers. But first we're actually uh, talking to a different turbo company that reached out to me and we're actually gonna review another brand turbo for our 6.7 Power Stroke. So put those guesses down below in the comments who do you think we're gonna be running in the truck? Uh, look forward to seeing those answers. And then guys, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna start talking about best year 6.7 Power Stroke. Yes, I've done a video on this already, but it's gotten a lot of interest and the third generation Power Stroke has been out for a little bit. There's some changes to it. We're gonna go over changes and we're gonna go over if I think it's worth trading in your 2015 or newer 6.7 Power Stroke for those 2020 and now even newer than that. 6.7 Power Stroke. So we're gonna get into that next. That'll be a different video. Let's hop in the truck. It's already warmed up, ready for us. We're gonna go drive like a goofball for a little bit. Nothing like a factory exhaust to really bring out the sound of the 6.7. Okay, so here we are. We got our Edge CTS-2 that we're monitoring. Hopefully the sound is coming up decent. If not, I'll talk about this later. So we got exhaust back pressure up here. We got boost. As you can see, we're warmed up pretty good here. Not completely up to operating temp, but perfectly safe to go goof around in. So I'm going to try to hold this here while I go drive. There is one thing on here. It does have records. Doo -doo, where is records? So our peak boost is 39. At one point I had the transmission up to 250. I must have been really on the truck. Anyway, so it doesn't give us our peak exhaust back pressure, which is kind of annoying. I've never data logged on this. I know it can do it, but I've never done it. See what's in the data log. We'll turn that off because I think you need to check that on a computer anyway. All right, we're going to get back and we're going to start driving. gonna come up but I love the way this truck sounds going under one of these overpasses got the transmission to unlock here yep that's 
loud, but it sounds awesome. Okay, YouTube, so there we did some driving around, got on it. I didn't get on it too bad. I mean, I did get on it pretty good, don't get me wrong. But I wasn't looking to create a scenario where it would build peak boost. I just wanna see what it'll boost daily driving. Like I said, we know that my highest is 39 PSI. I've actually done that a few times because I've reset that like three or four times. So it can happen. But I think the most we saw was like 35 PSI. Driving around just kind of normally, uh, accelerating normally would be like 15 to 24 psi i noticed uh obviously in the 24 range we're a little more aggressive but really in these trucks daily driving you're not going to see more than like 30 or like you gotta really try to see more than that so it can be done i've proven it so 39 psi peak boost in the 6.7 uh, normal highs is going to be like 35 psi 34 but again you're that's full throttle you're really in it uh, creating load would obviously increase it but we're not doing that at the moment so just wanted to do that get some I forget the back pressure I want to say I saw high 40s to mid 50s in there uh, once I review that footage and put it in you guys will know that information now I obviously don't yet I haven't reviewed it so We'll get all that information on there again. This is for a Turbo Time USA mod, followed by a, a <clears throat> followed by a, a sponsored video series that I can't disclose yet because those deals aren't final. But we are working on something. No, I'm not leaving Turbo Time USA. They're fantastic. I love those guys. Huge, huge shout out to them and their support. This is just an opportunity. I'm, I want to review other products not just people that sponsor me because I'm trying to get you guys good information. So I'm very excited about this opportunity. I think you guys are gonna really love it too. Turbo Time USA sponsor, 6O Bros, 5% off their turbos. Go check them out for your diesel needs. They have Cummins stuff, they have Duramax stuff. They got the 6O and 6.7 taken care of as well. Guys, merch store, we have our 10K club shirt up there. We have a 10K and counting coming because uh, I'm a little slacking on that. We do have live streams coming, don't worry. I haven't fallen off face of the arch. Just been super busy with school and work. So those things are coming. Stay tuned guys, don't leave me yet. Next, if you're watching this, you probably are interested in six seven power strokes maybe you're looking for some information on them and we're going to go over should you buy a 2020 six seven power stroke we're going to talk about changes that have been made we're going to talk about whether i think it's worth it or not financially because they are so expensive anyway guys stay tuned for that if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up drop your comments down below who do you think the new anonymous turbo sponsor video series is going to be guys i'll see you in the next upload